Okay, so here's a, a question. It's an exam question. It's a foundation level one, but it's uh, it's pretty much similar to the ones that you'll get on the uh, the higher paper as well. Um, so let's have a go. It's about gravitational potential energy. Okay, so here we've got somebody who's uh, stacking some shells. Her name's Jasmine. Uh, they always give them exciting names like that. Um, and she's got four boxes. Um, it says there, four boxes from the floor to the top shelf. Okay, so we know that that's... Uh, from there to there. Uh, each box is 1.5 meters from the floor. They've very kindly told us what the uh, the height is. And each box um, has got a mass of five kilograms. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to be asked to do is to calculate the uh, total gravitational energy as she transfers to the four boxes. Well, this is very straightforward. Okay, I'll do the calculations out over here. Um, so we just have to use our gravitational potential energy formula, and that's simple enough. That's mass times g uh, times h. What's g? g is the force of gravity, or the strength, I should say, of gravity on Earth. That's always 10, very handily. It's not quite 10, but we rounded up at GCSC to give it a, a nice easy number to use. Uh, and it tells us there anyway. Way there it is. Um, so we're just going to work that out. Now we're going to do it for one box and then just times it by four because you know she's lifting four boxes. Um, so uh, each box gets five kilograms uh, times ten times the height. Now the height is 1.5 meters. Okay, uh, so don't knock yourselves out. Okay, if you're not really happy with this, just get your calculator. Okay, five times ten times 1.5. Okay, so that's 75. Now that's just one box. Uh, we've got to calculate uh, for four boxes. So we'll just times that answer by four. Okay, so there we go. That's our answer, 300. Okay, and so it's 300. Now don't forget your units. It does say joules down there, so we, can, we could perhaps afford to miss it out. Um, but if we were going to write this in the exam, we'd be writing down um, properly all of the marks that we need to get. Okay, so don't be silly. Okay, let's write it all out, 5 times 10 times 1.5, okay, and that comes out as 300, oops, times by 4 boxes, okay, uh, and that's 300 joules. Okay, then it asks us, uh, how much work is done on the boxes? Okay, well, if you saw the first video in this section, uh, you'll see that actually, well, that's a trick question, because that energy that the boxes get when they're being high up, um, that's come from Jasmine, okay? She has done the work to put those boxes there. So the actual answer is 300 joules, dead simple. Okay, sometime later, Jasmine does 2,400 joules of work in, 20, uh, in 48 seconds, okay? So now we've got to calculate the, uh, the power, okay? No power, it's fairly straightforward, okay? Uh, let's do this, remember, uh, power is how quickly energy gets changed from one type into another or how quickly energy gets added or taken away from something. So it's uh, it's the amount of energy that was given to uh, or taken away from Jasmine as she was working, she's using all that energy up, uh, divided by the amount of time it takes. Okay, so this is a very simple calculation. Okay, we're going to take that. Okay, that's that. That's that. And we just plug them in. Okay, so we write Power is energy divided by time, and that's 2,400 divided by 48. Okay, now you might be able to do that in your head, but let's not take any chances. Okay, 2,400 uh, divided by uh, 48. Okay, well, that equals 50. I'm happy with that. 50. Okay, that's our answer down there. Uh, the W stands for watts, if you're interested. Okay, watts is basically a joule of energy being moved around every second. Okay, so that's what that is. But that's how we use um, the gravitational potential energy formula, and that's the sort of question that you'll find on a foundation exam. Uh, fairly straightforward.